Hello folks, right, music, I love it. Talented musicians, I love even more. I love a great vocalist, I love a great frontman, great drummer, great bass player, great guitarist, great keyboard player. I love them all. I love the ones that are really, really, really good and ahead of the field. I like talent, I love it. I knock lots of people on here. I won't knock those that are talented. Don't know why I'm doing this video, but I'm doing it. It's only gone another minute to go if you stick with it. Looked at something today on the internet and I'm clicking through things, seeing what the news is today. And it's got a little thing there, a little uh, ad there. 10 or 20 best ever bass players, bass guitar. Well, I've got a view on that. The thing is, when someone takes me interest, although these top 10s and top 20s are normally crap, sometimes I've got time on my hands, I click into them. Why, I don't know, but I do. And I thought, well, there's one bass player that's far and away better than anyone that's ever picked up a bass in the last 100 years. And I thought, let's see if they get the same person as me. And when I went down from 20 to number two, I knew that they had, because this person's name hadn't been mentioned. And I thought, he can only be number one, and he is number one. His name is John Entwistle, commonly known as The Ox. It's very rare, ladies and gents, you watch a band of any kind and are focused on a bass player. It's very, very rare. More often than not, when I watch The Who, I tended to watch him more than Dolce & Townsend, for all I love Dolce & Townsend. He was that good. I was never ever lucky enough to see Keith Moon live. Had I have done, I'd have been struggling between Keith Moon and John Entwistle. Moon might not have been the best drummer of all time, although he was one of the absolute greats, but what a showman. Probably the greatest showman there's ever been. And yes, I include Freddie Mercury at all in that comment. Keith Moon was an absolutely brilliant showman, but John Entwistle loved him and I thought, right, what they need to do next is top 20 keyboard players. Because I'll tell you who's the best keyboard player as well. Because, again, he's miles ahead of the field. A lot won't agree. The odd one will. And the guy's name is a guy called John Lord from Deep Purple. I have never, ever, ever in my whole cream puff seen anybody better than John Lord. The things he used to do in unison with Richie Blackmore, when they used to do bits and pieces together within songs as, as song breaks and lead breaks, were just phenomenal. They were outer worldly. They were brilliant. So Lord, greatest keyboard player by a mile in my eyes. Entwistle, greatest bass player by a mile in my eyes. Could I pick the best drummer, singer, guitarist and frontman? No, I couldn't. I could give you five or six in every category, but I couldn't pick the best because there's that many that are absolutely brilliant. But for bass and keyboard, for me, there's only two folks and they were they.